Rebecca Brand, and today we're talking about brewing coffee and tea in a French press. Let's talk about your coffee and tea. The first thing you want to do is preheat your coffee press. So I am pouring in hot water to the very top, and this water is going to be in there for about maybe 30 seconds. I want the carafe really hot because I like my coffee really hot. When it's too hot to touch, I know it's time to pour it out and then dry your French press because I don't want any particles of the coffee hanging around the sides of that glass. Now I need to make my second batch of water. I use filter water because I want the highest quality of coffee. This Sunlit Goods coffee press is super high quality and it's very large, which I like. It's going to hold a full four cups of coffee. And to four cups of coffee, you're going to need one half cup of the coffee grounds. That looks about right to me. So put your half cup of grounds in the bottom of the French press and level it out. And here's my tip and trick for the very best French press coffee. One pinch of kosher sea salt, bing. You don't want to use completely boiling water in your French press. You want it right to the boil. And I think that's just about perfect now. I'm gonna take that off. So I'm gonna pour in just a little bit of water, tiny bit. I'm stirring that with a spoon just to get all those pieces moistened. And with my stopwatch, I'm only going to allow it 30 seconds to brew in this concentrated capacity. All right, done chum. And now I'm going to pour that up to the top because I want four cups. And I'm going to stir that up gently. And the perfect brew time is three and a half minutes for a total of four minutes for your coffee brew time in that French press. If you find your coffee is too strong, it's probably because you finally ground it. If it's too watery, the grounds are too coarse. Three, two, one, three and a half minutes. There we go. Now it's time for the deep plunge. So evenly plunge that mesh filter down to the bottom. If you're not getting much plunging action, You've made your coffee way too fine. And if it goes down too fast, you've made watery coffee. Just a little precursor of what's to come. But this is perfect to me. It's going to take me about 20 seconds to get it to the bottom. I like my coffee very rich. Oh, yum. Look at that beautiful hot coffee filling my cup. That is as rich as beautiful as coffee comes. Mmm. If you're going to make tea in a French press, you're going to want to designate your press just for tea. Because any parts of coffee that are left in that filter are going to make the flavor of the tea taste a little bit like coffee. And that's not good. You need to know your steep times because every tea has a different steep time. And they all have a different concentration of how much tea. So it's a little more specific to the type of tea you're drinking. And here's another tip. And to keep your hot coffee from getting bitter, you need to put it in a thermos. And this is what you use for later. I have preheated my thermos with hot water because I want to keep that hotness to the coffee. It's not going to be bitter or get cold as I'm waiting to drink the rest. This is going in my car because I have errands to do. Let's try our coffee. Mm. That's fantastic. That coffee is the most perfectly balanced, rich coffee. It is not bitter at all and it has such beautiful flavor. It's delicious. Subscribe to my channel. Let's keep making great things in the kitchen, like French press coffee. That's good all day. <laughs>